Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Wes Cooper. Coverage you can count on begins tonight with drawing in a big crowd. What many are hoping to do by building a new James Brown Arena. Tonight we're getting a final look at what may be built. Check it out. A lot of people in Augusta are feeling good. A vote to build a new arena downtown is on the horizon. Between now and November 2nd, we're going to talk to as many people that uh, have any questions about it as we can and try to convince them. In a little more than a week, the fate of the new JBA will be in the hands of Richmond County voters. It will be decided whether to approve a new tax to pay for bonds that are funding the new arena. It's a complex. It's an event. I mean, people go just for the experience sometimes. Uh, I've been to shows where people don't even sit and watch the show. They're socializing at an event. Existing James Brown. Michael Harvey has built high quality arenas all over the world. He says he and his team at Perkins and Will are hoping to do that in the Garden City. Cutting down the long lines and all that. People want a much better, greater experience when they go to events than they did uh, 10 years, 20 or 30 years ago. The new JBA will be about 100 feet tall, seat 11,000 people, and have many premium box seats. Developers say there will be plenty of green space around the arena and it will be connected to the Bell Auditorium. The new arena's committee chairman says the Bell's outside appearance won't change, but the inside will be upgraded extensively. It's a money maker for us, but now we do add some amenities that, that we needed. And it, it's going to be ADA compliant. Right now it's not even ADA compliant. The November 2nd referendum to approve the new tax adds up to about an extra $100 a year on your bill for every $100,000 your house is worth. Some are encouraging people to vote no. We only have one chance to do this, and we want to do it right, and we've got to do it right. And um, it's going to be a regional draw for, for Augusta. Developers say they are keeping a close watch on the cost of building materials and believe they will be lower near the start of construction for the new JBA. Usry says if everything is approved, the JBA will be closed for about 30 months and the bell for about a year. It's hoped to complete the new arena by 2024.